Hi, I'm Eric. And I'm Doug. And, and we're, we're the AutoCAD, AutoCAD guys. Today we'd like to showcase some of the really exciting and useful features in our latest product release, AutoCAD 2009. This past year we spent time interviewing customers like yourselves, uh, anywhere from the student who has been using the product for the very first time, all the way to the expert who's been using AutoCAD for many, many years. We believe, as others have told us, that this is the easiest AutoCAD ever, and um, rather than me talk about it, why don't I take you on a test drive and show you some of the cool features we have in this release. Great. Let's take a look. And let me start by showing you with the menu browser. The menu browser will list your most recently used drawings. It not only shows date modified, the name of the drawing, and of course the version information, but you get a preview thumbnail of the drawing file before you open it. Um, our command search tool also in the menu browser lets you quickly find commands that you may not know what the name is, only partial names. In this case, I type WH for wheel, and I found my steering wheel command. Another new UI enhancement is the ribbon bar. Typically, you can run it in full screen, or you can minimize it to show tabs. You can show panels only, which therefore optimizes your drawing space. It's also um, enhanced with enhanced tooltips. So if you hover over a command, such as this helix, in a over a certain amount of time, you'll see more information on that. Ribbon is also task-based, and so in this case, I'm going to the Visualize tab, changing this model's visualization um, scheme, and navigating around it quickly. Another great feature of this is our keyword search tool. We can type partial keywords, so in this case, if I want more information on 3D, I can type 3D here, and you'll notice that it not only lists 3D items in our user guide, but it also navigates to our online information, such as our knowledge base and our news groups. Another really cool feature is the quick view. So I, I, if you notice here, I have several drawings open. I can go through and, and quickly navigate through my drawings, click the drawing, and um, not only visually see it, but I can print from there as well as read multiple layouts. So in this example, I'm clicking a drawing. It has multiple layouts, and I can just navigate Another cool feature of this release is the ability to use our new steering wheel. Um, in this case, I'm going to actually walk through this building. And as you can see, I can quickly navigate by just pointing my mouse. And um, I can look at different schemes there as well. In this case, if I want to go from a dog eye view to a human level view, I just simply click that and we're there. One other great productivity feature is our new modeless or persistent layer manager. I can quickly keep this layer manager open like a palette and I can toggle uh, on off states of my layers. In this example, I'm turning off everything except the architectural walls and windows to perhaps edit that. Show motion, really great feature and really easy to use. Just simply set your view, define it in show motion, and we can quickly do a quick animation of, between different views and, and show different angles of, the, um, in this case, this building. If you notice here, I'm showing some exterior views, but I can also quickly go to an interior view as well and show and stairways and wall placements and things like that. So again, this is called Show Motion and it's a really great and easy feature to use to navigate through your 3D model. What do you think? Another new and powerful feature in AutoCAD 2009 is the Action Recorder. Action Recorder is on your ribbon bar. If you hit the record button, it basically will record a series of commands that you type or enter through um, the ribbon or layer manager, for example. In this case, I'm going to a top view in ViewCube, and you can see this tree view, the action tree, showing the commands as I type it. In this case, perspective. Um, it also record the ViewCube action to 2D wireframe. Wireframe, um, move some objects and things, and then go back to my previous view. I'm also recording some layer manipulation. In this case, I'm turning off uh, some roof layers, and I'm zooming in here, which it's also capturing. And um, you know, perhaps I need to edit a few objects here and quickly jump back to my other view. So if I go back to my action recorder and, and stop this recording, um, I simply hit stop. I go back and play what I just recorded, and that in a nutshell is AutoCAD 2009. I hope you really enjoyed the quick demo of this product. Okay, and that's AutoCAD 2009. Great, thanks for that demo, Doug. So why not check it out for yourself? We have a trial version on our website at autodesk.com. We have a new features video up there with a more in-depth explanation of all the great tools that are available in this release. And now we have lots of documentation to help make it easy to get up and running with the product. So thanks again for watching, and thanks again for being our customer. Bye for now.